Hello everybody and welcome to my Oculus Quest 2 review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the things I enjoyed with the Oculus Quest 2 and the things I didn't enjoy. So without further ado, let's delve straight into it. Number one, first things first are the cons. There are very few cons that I have with this headset so I want to get them out the way and they also compare a little bit to the Oculus Quest 1. The first of which being the IPD slider which is the distance between your eyes whether it be further or closer apart or together. The thing is the Oculus Quest 1 has this sweet mechanical drive that lets you kind of fine tune and get the exact distance you have to match your eyesight but with the oculus quest 2 you don't have that mechanical slider instead you just have three settings on the lenses and you have to kind of fiddle around and figure out which one kind of sits in between your eyes comfortably it is a little bit on the annoying side that you have to perfectly hit this i guess distance and i don't understand why they took out the mechanical slider because it just makes things a lot more easy for people that have those types of eyesight issues so if you have further or closer apart eyes keep that in mind when you're going to pick up the quest 2 it is a small grievance that most of us will not have to uh i guess have an issue with but with people that do that's something huge that you have to keep in mind the second biggest thing that i don't like about the headset is the head strap it's very flimsy it just kind of sits on your head comfortably ish and it has to have a lot of fiddling and adjusting to get that perfect viewing angle that only lasts for a little bit of time in between sessions about 10 to 15 minutes because you're constantly moving around and it gets jostled and turned all around which is very frustrating and if you want to rectify this and fix it you're going to have to get the elite head strap which is like 40 extra dollars i've heard from friends and other reviewers and content creators that it's a really good head strap and it works well but unfortunately next gen's on its way and i'm not gonna dish out another 40 dollars on top of all the games i've bought recently to justify i guess having a slightly more comfortable experience so for people out there that do miss the head strap of the quest one which is what you know one of the biggest things that i loved about the headset i thought the quest one was just a bit too heavy on the front but the head strap was really awesome we just don't have that again i don't know why they changed those types of things but alas here we are so those are the two big things i have issues with for the quest 2 moving on from that i think the quest 2 is a really great headset it has a lot of awesome upgrades for example a almost 4k display screen very very close to 4k only i guess a resolution or two down below it and it looks absolutely gorgeous the fidelity is of the utmost highest i've seen on any virtual reality headset i've used thus far in my vr lifespan from the oculus rift cv1 to the quest one to even the ps vr it just looks so sharp and it makes all your games feel and play extremely responsive and you really get to see the finer details on a lot of these vr titles which is exactly what you want when you're immersed in a virtual world another thing that i liked was the screen door effect gets eliminated pretty easily thanks to the higher fidelity uh it still has about the same screen door as the quest one it is noticeable in certain parts of games but for the most part i felt like those black barriers around my eyes disappeared much more naturally in the quest 2 than other headsets i've used previously which is always nice i do think the field of view is a little bit higher on the quest 2 although that's just me personally i'm pretty sure if we broke down the tech specs and all that it really isn't but again that could just be because of the higher fidelity in visuals that's just me another thing i like is the bump to a 90 hertz refresh rate this is experimental as of right now when they are working on apps and games to give you that full 90 hertz refresh rate so games feel a lot more responsive and smooth but in order to unlock this if you don't mind messing around and tinkering with your system just a little bit at least when it comes to quest apps only you can go inside the adb settings of the oculus developer suite and mess around with some things that i will leave links down below with some videos to hit that 90 hertz display for a lot of games coming out super hot 2 or super hot vr quest 2 i guess we'll say has a 90 hertz upgrade coming soon and as of this recording i don't know if it's out or not yet but if you have that one it does have a 90 hertz and a bump to 4k almost display and it makes your game run and play like a dream hyper dash was another game i got to try in 90 hertz which looks absolutely awesome it's super responsive and the game itself looks incredible so you're moving around dashing at high speeds and being able to turn around on a dime all that great stuff makes you look and feel incredible. I love that there's a 90 hertz mode already installed and ready to go if you want to opt into the beta stuff and it's going to be rolled out which oculus does a pretty good job of pretty frequently so keep your eye looking out for games that are going to get 90 hertz upgrades especially if you are into vr shooters and of course with the oculus link allowing you to just plug in a usb 3.0 cable directly into your computer and get access to the entire pc vr library there are a slew of awesome vr games that you can try with a higher fidelity in terms of visual streaming
streaming. It looks very, very good. It looks clean. I never had any issues. Definitely a lot sharper, sharper than the Oculus Quest 1, and I thought everything just felt very responsive. Once again, no issues ever came up. The only issue I had was the Oculus dashboard spawning me in a black screen every once in a while, but that's more of a PC VR issue than the actual Quest. And after resetting the Oculus Dash through Task Manager by ending the task and restarting the Oculus Quest app, everything worked out quite fine. So PC VR looks and feels awesome. Games like Star Wars Squadron works and runs pretty well. And all the VR apps like Boneworks, Bladed Sorcery, etc., they run pretty gosh darn good on the Oculus Quest. So, with that all out of the way, do I recommend the Quest 2 as an upgrade over the first one? Absolutely. I think the Quest 2 for $300 is a really great entry to get into VR. And now that we actually have apps I can recommend that you pick up for the Quest that have no drawbacks or downgrades, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners being one of the biggest ones, it's the full Saints and Sinners experience with all the awesome room scale abilities and grabbing zombies and all that cool stuff. For no extra cost, it's just the $40 price tag, you don't get a drawback on visuals or gameplay or any of that, it looks and plays exactly like you expect, and it's very awesome sleuthing and sneaking around and taking zombies out left and right in this open, portable VR experience. It's absolutely insane. So, the Quest 2 is definitely worth the upgrade if you want to check out VR, and also if you want to leave your Quest 1 behind. I think this is just a incredible VR pickup and it's a great entry for people that are just getting started and if you want to transfer to PC VR which I know a lot of you guys want to play Half-Life Alex in this sort this is the headset to pick up because it's 300 and you're already getting access to a slew of awesome VR titles now again there are some downsides the Facebook recommended login or I guess I should say required login now is really annoying I don't know why they turned that on a lot of people don't even use Facebook like myself and now you're kind of locked into this ecosystem that I don't even want to be a part of, although I hear that they're making some modifications to things out there to shut that down so you could buy a Quest 2 without having to log into Facebook and skip that part of accessing the headset, which is really, really cool. But in the meantime, it is required, and I think that that's absolutely obnoxious, but hey, what can you do? Just make sure you keep an eye out for that nonsense. Aside from that, it's an awesome headset. I definitely recommend that you guys pick it up. And if you're interested in VR, this is the one to check out. Comfortable controllers, a beautiful display, a so-so head strap that, you know, works well. It's a lot lighter on the head than the Quest 1, I could say. So I think it does its job fine. And it's a really awesome entry into the VR landscape. All right, that's going to do it for the Quest 2 review. If you guys have any VR games or things you want to check out, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And make sure you throw some things my way so I can check them out. And of course, if you want to keep it locked here to next gen, you guys know what to do. Subscribe, turn on notification bells, and we will all keep you in contact with what's coming up with next gen reviews, tips, tricks, and etc. So, have a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.